This is a pretty interesting apartment. It's got like a whole bunch of little rooms. Kitchen's shiny, I like that. The bedrooms look like they're a decent size, that's for sure. But the crazy thing is this place has two full baths. For $11.50 per person, you get your own bedroom and your own bathroom. I don't know what they're doing, but it's too cold to be doing it. In fact, it's so cold, this fruit market right here, they usually have apples along the sidewalk, but the apples are staying inside today. Now, I know some of you live where it gets colder than 27 degrees, I know that, but here, since I don't have a car and since most people don't, it's that exposure time, being outside in this for like an hour. I might have to stuff some of this hay inside my jacket. Anyways, here we are at the train, and the only problem with today's place is that it's just kind of a hike from where we are here in Queens, but everything else about it should be fantastic. It's the cheapest two bedroom, two bath. I think you can rent anywhere in the city right now. Here we are in Brooklyn. This is the 59th Street stop. Ooh, look at this. We got a little outdoor vegetable market. If you want to live for a long time, spend your time in there. Not here at McDonald's. Their chicken sandwich is fake. And certainly not here at Dunkin' Donuts. That's not even real coffee. Here we've got a chicken place and then a margarita place. This could be a Peruvian chicken place. If it is, eat all of your food there. Cheap too. Look at those prices. I think right here, this is some sort of meat market. It says prime ribs. Okay, butcher shop, that checks out. And because it's Brooklyn, a little coffee shop with a pickup window. I bet it's really good. I just saw like three people show up and get something. Steve's Bagels. Over here, we got another pizza place. Dave Portnoy, he needs to get out here and do some ratings. I don't see his score on any of these spots. Looks like an Irish bar. Better watch your mouth because if you're like me, they will kick you out and you don't want that. Interesting. Next to the Irish bar, we have what looks like an Irish real estate agency. See. Haven't seen too many of those in New York. It's almost like we're in Boston. Then we got another discount, and this looks like our first deli slash grocery. How you doing? Manhattan taxes aren't happening here. This is a dollar seventy-five. You could take that extra twenty-five cents and buy some worthless NFTs with it. Okay. Oh, it's a show in an orchestra. I'm not cultured enough. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day. Nice little place. And what's cool is I think the apartment we're headed to is right there across the street. I think that's actually the building. Look at that. Downstairs, you got a local coffee house. Looks like they've also got pastries, but it says they have soup. And then there's some sort of restaurant. It says up here on the sign that it's a modern bistro. I mean, with that outside, it looks kind of modern. And it might get more modern. Look at the glass facade there. That looks like it'll probably be interesting. The South Brooklyn Foundry. This looks like some sort of meat market. They've got a chopper. And there's another coffee house behind me. If it's not obvious at this point in the video, I've never been here, but it's probably also a part of town that a lot of people visit. It seems fun. Here it is. What a cool looking building. It's got like actually a corner entrance, which is nice right off that busy street How you doing thank you my friend oh man seems like a cute little building only a couple apartments per floor it's cleaned got some unofficial bike storage down the stairs here is there anything in the backyard um maybe like a little hangout or something I wonder what comes out of these pipes that's kind of interesting never seen that before all right I figured out why there's these pipes down here in this little table that's the laundry room that's why there's some steam coming out of them and that's good you don't have to leave the building to get your clothes clean. Is it a big laundry room? Oh, look at that. Got a couple shiny new machines. Looks like there's also some sort of smart app. This is good. And even though we're in an old building, look at how nice the rest of the building is. It's clean. I've seen newer buildings that weren't maintained like this. Nice. It's not exactly fancy, but it gets the job done. And since our apartment's on the first floor, look, you could be one of the first people to come out this door and get your stuff done. This is a pretty interesting apartment. It's got like a whole bunch of little rooms. Kitchen's shiny, I like that. The bedrooms look like they're a decent size, that's for sure. But the crazy thing is this place has two full baths. 
And since the rent on this place is $2,300 for $1,150 per person, you get your own bedroom and your own bathroom. Now look, even though I'm of the opinion that this is a fantastic amount of space and amenities for the price, it's up to you to see if it's good or not. So let's check it out. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up and subscribe. We do this six days a week. After you come in, you could totally kick off your shoes and keep them over here by the door. Right here in this little area. Plus I could probably get some coat hooks against the wall. And with all these little rooms, this definitely kind of has that small house feel to it. Common space measures 10 feet 11 inches by 13 feet 2 inches. Now the kitchen is in this room, but because it's over here, you can put stuff against that wall, that corner, and over here. Over here you could put an entertainment center and a small table. And then I'd probably go with a couch against that back wall. It seems like I can get the most out of this to me. And luckily, this is also where the video intercom is. Come on, how does this work? Ah, look at that. You can see if it's your stalker. Their face will be right there, which is what they want. Maybe, maybe that's not a feature. It's a basic kitchen, but I think it's enough. Look at how efficient this design is. The counter space isn't big, but that's right in the perfect spot for you to put stuff on the stove or in the microwave. The fridge is full size, love that. And there's actually more cabinets here than I expected that we would end up getting. But my only complaint is there's no sink sprayer. Maybe the last renters removed it and put on that weird water filter. Why on earth would you remove a sink sprayer? Who cares if you're poisoning yourself? As far as bedrooms go, I think these are some of the best you can get at this rent anywhere in the city. Dimensions are 11 feet 9 inches by 9 feet 10 inches. Bed probably goes here in this corner. You could definitely get a dresser or something over there and maybe a home office or something over by the window. I guess you'll be able to see if there's a line for the laundry. How's the closet? Actually, I think that's the supers. He was in here cleaning before I showed up. But look, this actually goes back pretty far. I think you could get a lot of use out of that. And definitely there's room in here for other things. So many apartments in this city have absolute failures as bathrooms. But the only failure in here is what you're scrubbing from behind your ears from eating too much fast food. This is a decent size. I love how the sink looks like it's pretty big. I see some storage beneath it, which looks handy. Definitely that's gonna be useful. And above the sink, look at this, we got ourselves a Dultlux medicine cabinet deal with the little shelf for your electronics. Seriously, having an outlet right there, that is so useful. This here is bedroom number two. It's still good, but it's a little bit smaller. Dimensions, seven feet, 11 inches by 11 feet even. So definitely workable. Bed probably goes over here because that's where the heater is. The view is what we had from the other bedroom. So facing the back, getting some natural light, bouncing off these buildings. But if the bed's over there, right here might be a good spot for like a little home office or something. That can go here. Then over here you can have some dressers and we have a closet. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Oops, it looks like there's hooks up there. I didn't see them. Boy, that goes up pretty high. All right, this here is our second full-size bath. The difference here is we've got a standing shower and no tub, but we do have a window. The other one didn't have a window. Way up there, there's also a fan, so that's the same. And the medicine cabinet and the sink, this looks like it's pretty much the exact same setup that we had in the other one. So both bathrooms look equivalent. They also both have butt sprayers. See, butt sprayer right there. But I don't know if everyone's gonna wanna use that. Unless there's another set of restrictions in New York this winter. If that happens, boy, bidets are gonna be in style once again. And if you wanna save money and get a great place, this is it. Check out the video description for more info on this two bed, two bath. And then why don't we tour more apartments? You can pick one here or here. And I'll see you in the next video.